Hey guys, it's Denny as always. We finally got a lot of really good games that you can touch. All kinds of genres, from indie games to big projects, all the most interesting things we've seen lately are in this video. Click on the like, click on subscribe if you're not subscribed, and let's go! Do you miss adrenaline and dynamic gameplay? The perfect place to get it all? Good old Crossout. Tense battles, dozens of different vehicles, and hundreds of parts for their customization are waiting for you. You can make a powerful, bulletproof tank and destroy your enemies just by the look of it. Or make something smaller, but fast, and get in the back of unsuspecting enemies. In any case, Crossout is the best place to show everyone who is a real pro. Download the game at the link in the description. Let's start with Ubisoft game, which has been languishing in the production hell for 11 years. Ever since Black Flag Ubisoft had the idea to make something cool about pirates, and then rework the game a million times over and over again, and now it's turned out to be a completely different game. There are two points. The first point is that the game is surprisingly not straight up bad, but the $70 price tag for a game like this is overkill. Gameplay, we sail on ships, pump, move around the world, collect your fleet and enjoy the graphics because it is good here. The developers of Deep Rock Galactic unfortunately have been dead for a whole year, but they managed to make a whole new game during this year, Survivor. This is a great background game. You can turn on a movie, watch it and play the game in the background. All information is available without sound, you won't be sneaked up on from behind, and you won't hear anything interesting. Even new items in the style of the original and even previously unknown mechanics subclasses have been brought in. There will be a lot of grind. It is, after all, an auto-shooter, on which the Deep Rock graphics were stretched. Overall, a great game. Well, this is just a perfect game for blasting in all directions with friends. You play as a member of the Super Special Forces. Your task will be to liberate the space system adjacent to Super Earth. Protect it from the encroachment of personalities looking skeptically in your direction. Mostly robots and bugs. With the help of the Super Community, we'll have to gradually repel planets by completing various tasks, thus contributing to the overall global war. How does it play? Great. The game gives a great experience of explosions. Weapons are cool to shoot and each one is completely different. The limbs of those who didn't accept democracy get tangled under your feet. There is some physics of models. The picture combined with animations looks very beautiful. So it's just a perfect game. And this is a legendary game, in which you return to your childhood if you are more than 30 years old. It's a remaster of Corsairs. Remastered with improved UI, in some places improved graphics and additional quests, as well as the prospect of further development of the story. Graphically true, here how do not try, and the engine is ancient as a mammoth shit. Quests sometimes cannot pass without guides. There are bugs, but it's all small things, because it's generally generally a great RPG in the pirate setting. If you were spitting when you saw Skull and Bones, and here you feel some sense of nostalgia, then this is definitely the game for you. Here you will learn how to sail, constantly watch the wind direction, shoot with the ammunition you need, fight with different types of cold weapons, shoot with pistols and muskets, and not press the X to win button. Before you is unique in its kind. Banishers, ghosts, of New Eden. You are waiting for a beautiful elaboration of the world, characters, the system of choice, where any option is a compromise with your conscience. The exploration is similar to God of War, but the animations are certainly not as good. The world of the game, seamless, absolutely smooth transitions between dialogue and gameplay. For five hours, not a single download did not see in the game. Yes, even with the optimization on release all at once was Shokudo. Fury, great story in the world of New Eden, it's 1695 and the world is suffering from a curse. To make you understand the level of development of this action RPG in terms of plot. It was made by the developers of Life is Strange and Vampire, and they combined the experience of both games in this one. That's why we got a great game.
Islands of Insight. We're used to the fact that usually, in puzzle games, we walk around some small location. And conventionally, the puzzles and their solution drive our adventure and story. Until we solve them, we don't get anywhere. That's not the case here. Welcome to the open world, with over 10,000 different puzzles. Yes, you heard right, the developers spent days and nights racking their brains coming up with all this. They added various mini-games, exploration, great graphics, flying, different characters, and much more. In general, if you like the look of it, definitely worth a try. Also, the other day, Smallland came out of early access, in which you are waiting for an adventure in the world of insects. You are waiting for the usual survival game, in which the developers finally eliminated bugs, improved optimization, and finished the game. Crafting in the game is interesting. There are many types of armor, although over time, weak armor loses all relevance. Building a base is also interesting, but there are still not enough design items. Boss battles are uncomplicated, everyone has a clear view of their actions and their attacks. Overall, an enjoyable game. Goat Simulator 3 release on Steam. Yes, it's the same crazy goat that brought along a few other goats in the form of your friends in co-op. So the thrash you can do here is now four times bigger. Since the last part, everything has changed in a much better way. Normal controls, driving cars, cool tasks with hints next to them, and constantly creating nonsense on the screen. They added a bunch of obvious possibilities. To slide on wires, to sit on people, and for this, you don't need to have an alien hand to press five buttons at once and simultaneously balance with a stick. It's all very, very cool. Tomb Raider. No, not a new Tomb Raider, but I wish it was. Here, quite unexpectedly, we were shown from one to three parts of Tomb Raider with improved graphics. Now, the whole thing is called a remaster. Lara's triangular breasts have changed to normal breasts. The whole thing looks a little nicer now. While I was playing it, I suddenly found out that the game, it turns out, has a story. About 20 years ago, it all seemed to be just a set of different levels without screensavers in complete silence. Now, there's even a story coming coming out. turn-based, roguelike with card decks. There are more and more of these coming out lately, and less and less good ones. But this is just a normal example of how to do it. It's a combo between Slay the Spire and Dicey Dungeons. From the former, we got the core of the game, and from the latter, we got the combat system, only with cubes and constant spell mechanics replacing the deck. Well, and the graphics is not bad appeared. In general, mechanically, the game looks attractive and without flaws. Also, the characters have several directions for development, but each direction has several branching and variations within. On the way out there is a very solid choice in how you can pump yourself up. Overall an interesting game. in front of you is another turn-based game, this time a strategy game. But here they added RPG elements too, and gameplay-wise, it's very much like Disciples. Music and Atinum Sofera, also cool. The only thing is that developers though released the game in early access, and it turned out to be cool. The content is still scarce. There are only two scenarios where the first consists of one map, and the second consists of several locations. In general, they plan to make as many as a 11 of them, but so far we have what we have. And this is an unusual survival game in the Victorian era, with the ability to enter different portals, a lot of crafting different equipment, building a base, and killing huge bosses walking around the map. Visually, the game looks like 9 out of 10 to me. It's just a complete pleasure. But from the point of view of optimization, the developers made the game frankly bad. So we hope that they will fix it, because its potential is good. 
and this is one of the most unique games of its kind. It's a car-based survival game, where you, in the exclusion zone, will look for resources, put them in your station wagon, and press on the gas. The car is, of course, along, and recycle. Crafting in the game is a lot as a lot and monsters of various, which do not mind to break your car. You can get out of it and walk around too, but I would highly recommend against it, because without it, the probability of survival tends to zero. In general, it looks like a sortie. You drive your car out of the garage, go on a dangerous adventure for resources. You get them, return to the garage. You rebuild the car, upgrade it, and head out into new, previously unexplored, and possibly more dangerous lands. All this with amazing graphics and cool atmosphere. Well, that's the end of it for today. I hope you found something interesting for yourself, and therefore clicked on the like and subscribe too. I'm with you as always, Denny, and have a good day. Yeah.